Welcome to the start of my summer diaries vlogs. I moved to Cleveland in 2020, so this is my second summer here in Cleveland. Since this potentially may be my last summer here, I wanted to create a visual diary to remember my time here. And yes, Cleveland can be fun if you make it fun. In this episode, I'm on night shift for four weeks and everything I film is what I did on my nights off. My favorite thing this summer is sand volleyball, which is a big thing in Cleveland. In a way, I made some friends. On Mondays, I play at a brewery with Tim's friends. And on Tuesdays, I play with my co-workers at a different yeah. brewery, which is really fun. It's 10 o'clock. We just kind of drank alcohol after volleyball, but I made some Ticino with runny egg and rice. It's a breakfast Filipino food, but you know, breakfast at night. And I'm gonna mix it up. to Mason's Creamery. It's, uh, I think, seven. I don't know why I looked at it. I don't even have a watch. Went to Mason's Creamery, which is like a local ice cream shop. And I got ice cream and churros. Um, and the ice cream was in a bubble cone. And I was eating it, you know, enjoying my time. And then I got a bug bite on my ankle. Oh, so so annoying it's right on the bone <sighs> but anyways time to go home and eat dinner i'm doing this like reverse thing since i'm on night shift so i like told myself it's okay to have ice cream at this time because i woke up around three no two two ish and i had breakfast so this is like my midday snack if you think about it and then I'm gonna have lunch now. I'm going for brunch at this place called Summer House. And then you could see the skyline over there. Strawberry, blueberry, peanut butter, coconut flakes. Making this summer vlog is very hard. I keep forgetting to take out my phone. And I'm like, after the fact, I'm like, oh man, I should have filmed that. Like the volleyball, I feel so awkward when I take my camera out to take a video of us playing volleyball. I'm so new to this. So it's just gonna be a bunch of random clips. And yeah.
my day off or night off. I worked three night shifts in a row. It's a uh, July 4th weekend. Um, I saw the fireworks from the hospital, which is nice, even though the hospital was on fire, literally. So much, we were like full capacity and it was only like 11 p.m. at night. But we made it through. So now it's one o'clock, two o'clock, and now I'm going to my favorite um, monthly Trader Joe's run. And it's like from, let's say, 20 minutes from me. It's called Crocker Park. It's just a really cute area to walk around. It's like a bunch of uh, stores, um, restaurants. Uh, it's yeah, 20 minutes from me west of Cleveland. <laughs> I just spent another 10 minutes in DSW trying to decide what shoes I wanted and I was so close to buying some shoes but then I was like wait I already have these shoes I always get the same things but different like variety and I'm like is this worth the money but it's like a better version gonna be good and not buy anything but I bought two pants and together it was $180 but they were really nice like quality and they fit me well so no quality over quantity you know even though I do have a lot of pants I just like pants I always have to use the map to go back home even though I've been here so many times I just I think I could do it without the GPS but it's kind of I'm scared to get lost you know, gas prices are getting high, you know? Can't waste it getting lost. And I'll finish the end of Stranger Things because I've been watching it little by little because like it gets me so like hyped and like so anxious because I don't know what's gonna happen and like the cliffhangers always get me and I get super emotional and I can't stop thinking about the finale for like the longest time. And I remember last finale of Stranger Things I cried and I was so sad and I couldn't like think for like a whole week so I have to like prepare myself mentally that's why I couldn't watch it before work because it was gonna get me stressed out so now that it's my night off I can watch it stress-free let me show you what I got I got these cargo um, wide leg pants am I in the frame I like loose and stretchy and the pockets are so deep. They didn't have a smaller size, so I'm thinking I'm gonna get like a button and just like make it a little tighter here. I think this was worth it. I feel like I'd wear this more often than my other jeans. And these pants are just so fun and free. I love how it's like cropped here. It's like a little, like a hippie look. Looks like a skirt when I put my legs together though. And boom! Sporty. Ready to run. <laughs> it is two in the afternoon and I just woke up. It's my night off.
Thanks, man. Trying to decide where to eat. We're walking around Ohio City. We were trying to go eat at Le Petit, but it was really fancy and there was a long wait. So now we're going to West 25th. Thank you. to eat at Market Garden Brewery for brunch. Try to look for some poison ivy. <laughs> okay, oh, it's that's poison ivy. That one? Yeah, it's like three coming from one, right? One, two. Three. Yeah. Maybe, but it doesn't look like Harry. It's 4 p.m. in the afternoon, and we are going for a hike after our brunch. <laughs> yeah. Gotta burn the calories. You can make it back in time. I'm practicing for Zion. How long? Like a mile only? Zion? No, this, this oh. hike. This hike. Oh, I don't know how long this is. Oh. It's supposed to be an hour and a half or something like that. But if I run out of service, our map is can, it's not gonna work. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's good. Nice. Okay, this is definitely poison ivy. There's a three. And then it's like hairy on this side. Go into that water that we went to last time. It's like 10 miles per hour, it's so slow. Cool hat, dude. <laughs> Says we're cool. There's something being set up over here. It says nightly party. We're gonna go down and check it out. So we found out there's a party Just came back from playing pickleball and now we're going to this block party. Right. So we got changed. And now we're going back to the party. It's a drive show. And then, and then we got reservations at this new restaurant called Amba. I think it's like Mediterranean. So 
Someone had the same shirt as Timmy and they took a picture together. <laughs> oh, dude, you didn't record it. Oh, because you oh, had my phone. Had my phone. <laughs> <laughs> you took pictures of random people. <laughs> we were like, who wore better? Who wore better? <laughs> I wore my stretchy pants. <laughs> Woo, so bloated. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> 